Today we spoke about energy drinks, what every pediatrician needs to know, because we are aware that energy drinks are being marketed to youth, and our patients and parent population are unaware, as well as our pediatricians, about what is going on in this market. The first thing that they should know is that sports drinks and energy drinks are not the same. Sports drinks tend to be for rehydration purposes, include a lot of carbohydrates and other water, but energy drinks are meant for, as a pick-me-up and have caffeine and some other hidden ingredients that act as stimulants and can be harmful to our patients. Unfortunately, the labels are vague because energy drinks are marketed as dietary supplements instead of beverages or drugs that are regulated by the FDA. So these unregulated products are out there in the community. They list caffeine sometimes, and if they do, we encourage you to limit your adolescent's use of caffeine to 100 milligrams a day maximum. A typical soda might have 35 to 50 milligrams, maybe as high as 71. In addition, we want you to focus on serving sizes. So for example, drinks that come in very large cans such as Monster Energy or Rockstar are often 24 to 36 ounces, and that may be as many as five servings. And if patients or our youth don't know about this, then they may be underestimating exactly how much caffeine they're getting and drinking the whole can in one shot. In addition, there are energy shots, energy gums, and other products that look like candy or crystal light that we need to be aware of can be problematic.